Okay, guys, we are now on our second lesson. On the first lesson, we talked about the Asia session and how the interaction between liquidity on Asia session can show to us some interesting point of interest, interesting entry formation, interesting zones to turn to start to look for shorts or longs entry trigger confirmation. So yeah. I will show to you guys on the best lesson where we talked about uh, Asia session and how the liquidity plays an important role on the Asia session and how the daily cycle training structures show to us uh, the liquidity bit on those sessions. We can wait for them to get grabbed, to get taken out, to get swept, and they start to look for entries. So today we will talk about London and New York session right here on this lesson, right? So. On this session, how I showed you guys yesterday, we need to pay attention to the liquidity. So let me come here to the chart and I'm hundred percent sure I showed you guys the chart with those, um, emojis, whatever those illustration on it, trying to illustrate to you guys the liquidity that is above and below the is assessor range. And in today's lesson, we will try, I will try to explain to you guys the same thing, but with different modifications mainly on the top of and the bottom of London and New York session, but also on the previous top and previous bottom of New York and London session. Why? Because pay attention when we are trading, paying attention or uh, giving more importance to the Asia session liquidity, the Asia session liquidity already started and closed. But when we are trading, paying attention to the London and New York session liquidity, they still open. So sometimes you have Mark giving, what, giving us a top, right? A, a high on London session, for example, price will retrace and then price will go up again and taking out this high again, swept the liquidity or, you know, whatever, grab the liquidity on this high again. And that's exactly what I will try to explain to you guys, how we can take advantage of this, okay? Here, as you guys can see, this is not a trade, okay? I was waiting for this trading opportunity, but price ended up never retreating to catch the to, to to trigger my order, to steal my order. That's why this this uh, still is right here. When we go to lower time frame, you guys will understand what I'm talking about. But basically, let me let me just you know start to draw and explain to you guys everything about um London in New York session, okay? So quick resume. On Asia session, the Asia session already started and and closed it when we start to look for a entry opportunities of the price when price swept the top or the bottom. So after Asia session stops or close, which session starts? We talked about this in the past lesson. It's Frankfurt session, right? So Frankfurt session, we start Frankfurt session may take it off the low of the Asia session, of this session right here. So if Frankfurt to take out the low, we will start to look for a trigger confirmation to catch our, our trade. But let's say Frankfurt consolidated here and then lot of session started one hour later, right? And taken out the top of Asia. We will start to look for entries or lot of session started and taken out the bottom of Asia. We will start to look also for entries. But the main difference is the Asia session already started exactly right here and already closed it exactly right here. That's why we know exactly when the Asia session started, when it closed, in which price it started, which price it, 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 it stopped, right, closed. So we know exactly when it started, when it uh, stopped. And we can start to look for entries based on liquidity at the top and the bottom because we know exactly where the top is and where the bottom is and it won't change anymore till the next day. But when the when we're talking about London in New York session, things are a little bit different because we trade on London and New York session. So while we're trading, this session still going. So that's why we need to pay attention to why, to what, sorry, to the previous London high, previous New York high, Previous London low and previous New York low. We need to pay attention to this because the session is still going. And sometimes, what price will do? Price will create a session, right? Sorry, price, the, the session is going, right? London started here, 
So price is going, price made this top. So this is the top of loan right now, right? This is the high of loan. Price will retrace. Price will go up again, taking out this high and give us our in trigger confirmation. And then go and then let's say loan session close it. So we miss this opportunity because we can't see London the exact same way we see London. We can't see London in New York the exact same way we pay attention or we see Asia because Asia again already started and closed it. Okay. So let me start to draw and then we will go to the chart and I will show to you guys some real examples on the chart. Right. Let me just clean this and let me show to you guys everything. So we have Asia session right here, right? Let me actually use square right here. Okay, we have the Asia right here. The Asia session started and closed it. We know we have this liquidity at the top and at the bottom. Let's say Frankfurt started. Wait, let me use this tool right here to be better. Let's say Frankfurt started and swept the, the, the liquidity at the bottom, give gave to us an internal internal boss and trigger confirmation right here. We took this entry. So then, um, lot of started, right? Okay. So lot of started right here. Let me actually mark where lot of started. Let's say lot of started exactly right here. So this was the first entry of the day, taking a, um, taking this entry if using internal break of structure. You guys will understand why is the entry trigger, how it work, everything later. I will have we will have a lesson just about the trigger confirmations. Okay. So we took this entry and price is moving nice in our direction. Then the long of session started has a shift you guys. We our take profit level was hit. And then price swept the the it is a high. So we catch the liquidity. We grabbed, we swept uh, the liquidity at the bottom of the top, sorry, at the high of Asia. Now price gave to us another red trigger confirmation, let's say, but this time it gave us an, an stop loss. It happened, right? So we took this end right here. Sorry, this is a buy. We took this end right here, and it was a stop loss. Now we are like, okay, we have a take profit, we have a stop loss, and we have this interaction between London and Asia completed. Okay, it's complete. Sorry. So we already taken out the the bottom of Asia, the liquidity that was at the bottom. We taken out the liquidity that was at the top also. So Asia is done. We don't have anything more. We don't need to care more about Asia because all the liquidity was already taken out. Now, Frankfurt leaves behind his low right here. So we need to pay attention to it. But yeah, how you guys will see on the next example, on the next uh, thing that we show to you guys, we actually have Lolo starting here. So the top of Lolo right now is exactly right here. Okay, so that's the top of Lolo. No question about it. Then price made some retracement and then came back and taken out the top of Rondo. Now, that's when I showed you guys minutes ago, we need to pay attention to these previews. London high. And now we need to start to look for entries exactly right here again. Okay. So that's exactly what I was trying to explain to you guys when I draw with all those things. We need to pay attention to the previous London high and previous London low, New York previous high, New York previous low, because those scenarios can give to us beautiful trading opportunities if we pay attention closely. Closely, we can find great, great, great trading opportunities, okay? During the same session. Uh, okay, so this right here, we swept the bottom, sorry, the top or the high, better saying, of the London of the previous London high. Now we start to look for entries. Let's say we found another entry here using chalk, and then we took this entry, and price is moving in our favor. Okay. So okay, price moving in our favor, and now we took out price swept in the Frankfurt session low, right here. Okay, price swept this Frankfurt session low. We tried to take another entry, it was a stop loss. It's only it's our, it's always good to show to you guys well, on the example, say some stop loss, because you guys maybe are okay, this strategy has hundred percent accuracy now it's not. It, on average, I can get between sixty and seventy-five, but you will still get stop loss and break evens. In fact, most part of my trades ended up being break even than even stop loss. I had we we like 
10 times more break even trades than stop loss okay so let's say in this case uh it was a, a break even instead okay so let's say we took this entry price started moving in our favor and then came back took us out at break even now we have this has a London low right so the London low London low is exactly right here then New York session started and started to push price to the upside okay New York st session started and we pushed price to the upside a lot then price started to retrace to come back and took out we taken out the previous London low now we start to look for entries again okay now we start to look for entry let's say we found an entry right here the price start to go up and then we swept the previous New York high right that's exactly what happened because New York start, started exactly right here price pushed up to the upside made this high price pushed to the downside took out the, the previous long low we look for a entry we took the entry price is going up price is going up price took out the previous New York high the previous New York high was taken out liquidity that was sipping here was grabbed but let's say price stopped us out so our order ended up being a, a, a loss right but then price continued to go up and taken out again let me push this the long run high this long run high right here this right here long run high price swept the liquidity at the stop and gave to us another entry and we took the entry and price came in our favor okay so a bunch of things and he'll draw it but I think I was able to to give you guys the overall idea of this concept. Now we can go to the chart and let me try to show to you guys um, some beautiful, uh, beautiful, beautiful examples on the chart. Okay, let me re remove all drawing. I don't think so because I have this right here, so I, uh, it's better just to select and delete. Okay. So yeah, now we can come here and let me try to show to you guys some beautiful examples. So here. This is the today analysis, the trades I was looking for today. I actually posted this on my on my on my training view because I know a bunch of you guys fall for this trend. A bunch, like a bunch of you guys fall for this smart money concept trading trap. Because it's a common thing, you know, it happens all the time. Every single day we have an incompetent trader that falls for this type of trap. And it's sad, you know, it's sad you guys don't don't understand. That smart money concepts, if you're trading smart money concepts, you will never be able to, to achieve consistent profits. Pay attention to what I say. I said consistent. I didn't say you won't make, make some money. You may get found in by, by, by a prop firm, you know, uh, make some money like two months. We, you will have this account for two months or three months max. And, but the, the, the thing is, at the end of the day, you will end up losing this account. You may start to make some money on your life account, like a grand, one month on profit, second month on profit, third month, fourth month, if you are very, very, very lucky. But then you will end up losing everything. You know why? Because with smart money concept, you will never get consistent profits. At some point, you will lose money. Doesn't matter. You know, I'm not saying to you that smart money concept doesn't work at all. It works, but you will never be able to make consistent profit because it has some inherent flaws, some inherent things that you will never be able um, to, to fix. Because in this, let's say in this scenario right here, what is wrong here? What's wrong? You have a shift of market structure, break of market structure. Why you can't take this trade? Smart money concepts traders will tell you. They will tell you, oh, point of interest. Okay, let me show you one point of interest. So, you're telling me this right here was my point of interest instead, right? So right here, let's say this is a, a clear bearish trend. So we have the top, the high, and the low. So why why the the the, the price swept this high? Why? Smart money concept traders aren't able to teach you this. They they will they, they will find some excuse, but you know it don't make sense. The only strategy that can give you a answer. And a how to train this type of scenario is the daily cycle strategy. But I'm not here to talk about the, the, the incompetent part or the bad part of smart money concept. We are here to talk about um, daily cycle. So I'm not even, I will not even talk about this thing. Okay. So I came here to show to you guys some examples. 
So in this scenario, we still have the New York session, the, the London session liquidity here just got grabbed and you guys can see clearly prices going up. When you grab the top price uh, consolidated here a little bit, but I'm sure we can, we could find some entry here and then price came down. But the thing is, I wake up at very late today. I woke up like at 1 PM cause I was awake till very, very late yesterday. And as I showed you guys, I tried to take this entry right here. And no, my entry trigger wasn't this break on market structure. This is it. This wasn't at the point. I wasn't like, okay, this is the entry trigger. Now I can look for entry. My entry trigger was this middle thing right here. I call it chalk. This is what I call chalk. I know smart money concept trade of they call chalk a shift of market structure, but that's not chalk for me. Okay. And this is chalk for me. Unfortunately, I can't find right here a scenario where, um, at least not today, it didn't happen today, at least not on, 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 um, Euro USD, maybe on another pair. Let me check. Let's say in gold, I can't find gold happening. Same thing as you guys can see liquidity at the top, li liquidity at the bottom. We cr thankful to actually grab the liquidity at, at the bottom. No, 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 sorry. Lono, because the Lono started exactly right here on this green line. Okay. So Lono grabbed the liquidity at the top, grabbed at the bottom. So now, yeah, here we have one example because this is already London, right? So this is the previous London low and then price grabbed the liquidity of the previous London low. And you guys can see right here that New York session started and it's pushing price up. So we grab the liquidity at the previous London low. That is this little thing right here because London started exactly right here. We g okay, let me start again. A is a so liquidity. Frankfurt started here. Long started exactly right here. Long take out or swept the liquidity of the previous of the lot of the new sorry of the uh Asia session low. Long grab the liquidity of the Asia session low. Frankfurt was just sideways, okay. Then we took out the liquidity at the pre at the at the Asia high, as we can see right here. This top was able to take out the liquidity of the Asia high. Then market. Uh, uh, took out the liquidity of the previous London high, as you guys can see here. Previous London high, previous London high is this thing right here, right? We are on 15 minute time frame chart, so you guys can see this is actually a high, a top, whatever. Then we, after we take out the previous London high liquidity, price gave to us a beautiful entry confirmation and we came down. Then we took out again the previous, sorry, the previous London low liquidity and here you guys can see price gave us probably an entry trigger of formation and we start to go up so let me go to the um one minute time frame and let's start to look for entries on those point of interest on those uh, daily cycle trading strategy points that we need to pay attention to it okay so this is the first one we need to look for entries here we need to look also for entries right here maybe we had a stop loss on a big even because price came down and then went up very fast we need to look for entries here and right here. So, cause price me gave us the entry trigger of formation here, then retreat and, and filled our order and then drop it so fast. And we need to look for entries exactly at some level here, cause we swept the previous London low with this push to the downside and then New York session started, right? So let's go to one minute time frame and let's start to look for entries on those levels. So first thing I can quickly see here, uh, we when we set the the, the we, when we took out the the easy liquidity we need to, to look for entries here okay so the entry trigger of formation we have right here is the internal break of structure and trigger of formation and we could take this entry right when or where the internal break of structure internal trigger of formation happened it happened exactly right here we have it okay so here we have internal break of structure Exactly right here, we could take this entry. That was easy. Easy trade, easy money. Okay. Then we take out the top of Asia. And uh, yeah, fortunately, we can't see, I can't at least, I am the creator of the strategy and I can't see any ill entry trigger confirmation here. We had, let me show you guys that we had a chalk exactly right here. But as you guys can see, price never retreated to feel this. This um this chalk of the time at least, okay. Let me put it here. That's the bottom of the chalk. 
Okay, we have a chop right here. Then we had also this shift on rapid traction. Uh, SMS, okay. Then price continue to going down. It goes down, you know, as you guys can see. We have some build up exactly right here. So probably if I was trying to take this entry, I would wait for something to fill this area gap. But as you see, price dro drop it so much before actually, um, too much, sorry, before actually it came down, retrace and fill this entry. So no entry here at all. So yeah, now I I thought that would be a stop loss or even a break even, but it's not. <coughs> then right here we have what? We have a chalk also here that confirmed our entry in this level. Exactly right here we have this chalk. Let me zoom in. You guys will understand very soon what is chalk. Okay, I can't explain to you guys right now. But exactly right here we have this chalk. On the lessons about the trigger of formation, you guys will understand what I'm talking about. And with this chalk, we have <clears throat> the entry right here. Looking at least one to five, we could reach one to five easily. Okay. Then price will retreat. It wouldn't take in, take us out at break even if you enter exactly right here. If you take this entry a little bit lower, maybe. Uh, but yeah, that would be a beautiful trade if we sometimes. Or better say, most part of the times, I ended up extending my trades till the low of the previous session because I know already that price can target those lows. So 1 to 25 risk reward. But let's count just 1 to 5, okay, to be more realistic. Then we set the previous London low that was exactly right here, as I showed you guys. And it's here, yeah, here I can see clearly that we had our stop loss, the first stop loss of the day, exactly right here, so here. That would be my entry to be fair with you guys uh with this has a fair value gap or imbalance whatever you want to call it i think i will take this entry for sure and that would be the first stop loss of the day okay exactly right here looking to one to five at least okay then we had this entry right here with this chalk this chalk right here let me delete this so it can be clear for you guys this chalk right here was the entry trigger of formation that we could use to take this entry right here. Remember, this is a fair value gap that was filled, okay? This right here, this uh, week of this candle filled this fair value gap, that's why, okay? We filled this fair value gap, okay? So right here, chalk, another entry, beautiful entry, paying attention to the previous London high, previous London low, previous New York high, then previous New York low. Uh, one to five at least, so it wouldn't be rich yet. The hour take profit wouldn't be hit. Something like this. But right now, price is retreating. Maybe it can end up taking us out of break even. Or do the following movement. Retreat to some point right here. Come up. Take out the previous New York high. And we can start to look for entries here again. And if you get a stop loss, we can look for entries again when price take out the previous London high. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. And let's see you guys in the next one. The next one we start to look, we, we talk about just New York session and how it can impact, how it can have one influence on the daily cycle training strategy. See you guys there.